One week after removing the gel coat, we take a closer look at the hull to see how bad our osmosis problem really is. We also explain the basics of osmosis in fiberglass boats and how it happens. And did a real good work and uh, just removed everything and I just take the angle grinder with a 36 uh, grid pad uh, upon to remove the rest and get uh, just a blister open. And after drying you see a little bit of a, of a difference uh, between the epoxy uh, which was grinded before. If you look just here on that spot, slightly difference in color. You see it? It's here, it's uh, bright, brighter. Then here, here it's darker. What Chris is referring to here is the nightmare of all fiberglass boat owners, osmosis. So what actually is osmosis and why does it happen? Take our boat as an example. Mahalo was built with several layers of fiberglass laminated together using polyester resin. On top of that is the gel coat, which is also based on polyester resin. A surprising fact is that polyester resin is not waterproof like you would think. It's actually hygroscopic, or in other words, it attracts water. First, the outer layers attract water, which then becomes acidic as it dissolves the resins, forming blisters visible on the surface. Over time, the liquid can penetrate multiple layers of fiberglass, eventually resulting in delamination where the layers of fiberglass start separating in bigger patches. Now, it's not just as simple as drying out the boat and painting it again. Blisters and delamination need to be removed, and we have to wash the boat with fresh water at least once a month to wash away the hygroscopic compounds leaching out of the layers. Otherwise, these compounds would attract even more water instead of letting the boat dry. Once these compounds are completely washed away and the boat is dry, we can begin recoating the hull, but this time with epoxy resin, which is much more water resistant than polyester. Here you see a uh, bleeding blister. It's bleeding and if I touch it, it's sticky, yeah? It smells a little bit like marzipan, a li little bit acid, yeah? And that's a liquid we don't want to be in between the laminate. It's uh, hygroscopic, yeah? It likes water. Uh, and uh, it sucks the water through the outer painting into the hull between the lamination and therefore you have to remove that stuff. So we just uh, grind open the blister so we remove everything which is on top laminated of the blister then we can dry it out and we can wash it with a clear water then we can recover it with uh, epoxy color so it's one of the, the worst, worst spots here in the hull we have to do a little bit more work here there are a lot of smaller ones you see the, the darker spots where they now dry out if you see a dark spot there's a blister below which feeds the dark spot. So it's a good idea to open the top layers to look inside. That's a hell of work, a lot of layers. If you have any questions or any comments or better ideas, write it below. It would be nice to get in contact with you. Maybe you have additional ideas how to make the work a little bit more easy. Get in contact, write us something. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, now's your chance. And join us next week for another adventure.